Oh, no, my dear. That's Mr. Altman, not from up the hall. He's a real gentleman. He don't need air. My gentleman's a Mr. My Book from London. He's a book writer. Yeah, not enough. There he is now. Walks the high wheeled all hours, he does, then comes in covered in mud. Hello. Nice walk, Mr. Mybuck. I have freely wandered the ample suckling breasts of the welcoming hills. A pint of cider, if you would, Mrs. Mather. A young lady asking after you. Or a post, isn't it? I sit down. We met at the Pulsewitz in October. Did we miss to Meyerberg? Meyerberg? Don't you remember? Harriet Belmont sat naked on the grass and played to us on her flute. Actually, the Pulsewitz said you were down here. I rather hoped I would run into you. Better go up and dry off, and you, Mr. Mybuck. <laughs> dear me, I do seem somewhat soaked in nature's fecund blessing. I shall see you in a very few moments, my dear Miss Post. But let me warn you, I'm a queer, moody brute. There's rich soil in here, if you care to dig for it. Cakes? And an orange with sugar on it. Thank you. Mm. Ah, Miss Post! May I join you? Mr. Meyerberg, I suppose, sir. Uh, Meyerberg? I'll have what she's having, please. Very well, sir. I do love eating with a spoon, don't you? Now, Miss Post, perhaps you can help me on a matter that's been troubling me. Do you believe that women have souls? I'm afraid I'm not very interested. Quite. I do so agree. Bodies matter so much more than souls, don't you think? Or are you at last, like so many young English women, a prisoner of outdated inhibitions? Do you know what D.H. Lawrence said? I do, actually, yes. He said there must always be a dark, dumb, bitter, belly tension between the living man and the living woman. Mr. Mybug, do tell me about the book you're writing. Ah. Excuse me, sir. Well, thank, thank you. you. I intend to prove that Branwell Bronte wrote Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre and the tenant of Wildfell Hall. A work of fiction, is it? Yes, well, that's enough about me. Tell me, Miss Post, do you care about walking? What about it? I thought we might take some nature walks together. Go on discussing art and literature like this. But I better warn you, I'm pretty susceptible. Well, then, perhaps we should postpone the walks until the weather's a bit finer. It would be too bad if your book was held up because you'd caught a cold. I'm talking about sex, Miss Post. Yes, you see, I believe in utter frankness about sexual things. Uh, ye fornicators! Fornicators! <laughs> I no, I I assure you, Miss 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 Post and I are just old friends. We we met in London. Oh, aye, the devil's city, the stinking pit of whoredom. Come on, young lady, it's back to cold comfort for you. 